Welcome to the Delivered Friday. My name is Michael Schimke. I'm the CEO of Scafree. We run a session here every Friday, 11 o'clock um, Central European Standard Time, German time, um, to allow you, the audience, to ask questions about data vaults, um, any data-driven applications, um, cloud computing, MP computing, um, yeah, data mining, uh, those topics, essentially. Um, you can use the chat here if you want to raise a, uh, raise a live question. You can use the Q&A function here. Just raise your hand if you want. And um, I'll also show you after today's session a link to a form where you can also type in your question and um, we would essentially answer them. That would allow me to prepare some short um, um, slide, essentially. And if you receive multiple questions, I will be cherry picking. And um, yeah, typically a good um, if, you, if you ask a question, a, a good answer should be around 10 minutes or something. Um, so for a good YouTube video, essentially. And if there would be no questions at all, I will talk about a cluster here. Didn't have any time to work on it, so I'm glad that you're asking questions, actually. Um, let me show you today's question. All right, so this is a more um, business-related question about the um, return of investment of a data vault or data warehouse project. So, um, yeah, what are the criteria to evaluate return of investment on a data warehouse, data vault investment? Um, and that the... I would say this, and I had to be honest, I had this question yesterday with a customer. I, I like the question today, so I picked it up for it for today. The um, the the first thing is there's two types of um, um, benefits here, right? I mean, the cost is often clear. You have you, you know what you uh, pay for the data warehouse in terms of infrastructure costs, in terms of um, consulting fees and and employment um, uh, salaries and so on. So you have all you have to the cost is, is relatively easy to to calculate. But what is the benefit out of the data warehouse or data vault project? And then let's let's stick to the more generic term here, data warehouse. And the um, the benefits there are two types of benefits here: the tangible benefits, which are easy to measure, like uh, increased revenue or higher profit. And in one of my first data warehouse projects, after I graduated out of school, we had uh, essentially I had I was. Uh, Working on my first startup, and we we identify. I, I looked at uh, my friends while I do it essentially after studies, and uh, two of my friends they were doing some um, business essentially where they uh, did little side transactions and or uh, business transactions, and in every transaction they lost some money or w w won some money. So we we I could essentially build them a easy business case um, to increase their profits by reducing the the losers in their in the transactions. It was easy to measure, so that was essentially the price more or less. Uh, half the uh, longer story, but half the um, profit increase was more or less the price for the solution, and um, it worked out very well. The problem was that, um, yeah, longer story, it, it failed eventually. So, um, but it was easy to calculate. It was a tangible benefit, easy to calculate. But in many cases, when we build a data warehouse solution, we have non -tang -tang tangible benefits, and the um, the, for example, uh, increased customer satisfaction, satisfaction, for example. Yes, you can measure it, but what is the dollar value of it, right? What's the euro value of the, your increased customer satisfaction or um, faster delivery time, that kind of stuff, right? So, I mean, but in many cases, that's where, where we build data warehouse solutions for. So what I would recommend is, because we still want to know what's the return of investment here, two questions. The first question is, what's the price if you don't have a data warehouse, what do you lose, right? So can you can you maybe adjust a or attach attach a price tag to not having a data warehouse? Just flip it around. Maybe that's helping essentially. And if you look at your uh, and that's maybe even better. If you look at your pain points, let's say you have a problem with customer satisfaction or you have a problem with your, the delivery time of your products and so on. For those pain individual pain points, could you? essentially um, uh, set up a value, what would it, would it be worth it if you get rid of these pain points? How much would you be willing to pay for those, for getting rid of those pain points, essentially? That's the basic idea, so to attach some dollar value to the pain points, because you're delivering a data wise often for easing those or getting rid of those pain points, essentially, right? And then you have a dollar value for the benefit, essentially. That's what I would do, essentially, this is what we do when we calculate a business use case. Um, because it's hard to estimate what's the value of your data warehouse, right? What's the benefit here? Especially if you're dealing with um, um, non-tangible um, benefits here. That's, that's, a, that's an issue. Um, but that's, I would say, is the, the best approach to identify the benefit. Um, yeah, attach the costs and then divide by the costs. And then you have essentially the, the, um, the ROI. Uh, that's the basic idea, how we, um, what, what we, how we would tackle this essentially. 
All right, yeah, short question. If you have a question like this, um, use the form here, sfr.ee slash Friday. That's where you can submit your questions. It uh, allows me to um, yeah, pick up a question on the slide just like this, very simple slide to today um, for some reason. And um, the, um, yeah, so yeah, use the DB Fridays um, 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 form to submit your questions, maybe some picture of a whiteboard, team picture, whatever you want. And we will, we will publish it though. And then the, if it's good, I'm not saying we will publish everything uh, that you submit there. The, and then uh, check out all our other webinars uh, at um, scalefeeder 2 slash webinars where you find webinars on um, Westscape and DBT this time. Uh, they are once a month, but uh, and presented by um, tool specialists, not me. So uh, that's also good, uh, worth to watch essentially. All right, and if you can't wait until next Friday, um, yeah, check out the Data World Innovators Community or the Data Innovators Community these days. We, we changed the name, it should change the slide here. But um, that's essentially a forum style community where you can ask questions. And our people, Ignition Data people, they jump into a question and answer them as quick as possible, essentially. So if you can't wait, that's maybe also a good choice. Cool. Thanks for joining. And I see you hopefully next Friday, same time, same place. Thank you, guys.